You're now by FC Brunel's first team coach, Andy May. Andy, professional performance from the Dons in very difficult conditions today. What are your thoughts after today's win? Um, a difficult one, to be fair, looking back on it. We didn't set our standards, the intensity that we wanted to work at, but end of the day, it's three points, isn't it? So it's a pleasing thing, but yeah, I think there's a little bit more from us from that performance today. Obviously, I think it's fair to say heavy disruption after the injury to the Stevenage keeper 10 minutes in. Did that disrupt our plan and our sort of flow all game? Um, it'd be easy to use that as an excuse. Uh, firstly, we have firstly recovered OK, but um, standards are what we set ourselves game in, game out. So it's one of those, at the end of the day, we've done well to deal with the disruption and come out and still make sure that we walked off the pitch with three points of a clean sheet. Obviously, clean sheet going into the game on Wednesday night against QPR at Plough Lane. How much confidence do we take into that, knowing we got through a banana skin today and coming out with all three points? Yeah, like we said, like we said on Thursday, we don't look beyond, so we look at QPR now. We know that we have to be better in our tempo and intensity out of possession, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a professional performance from us today, picking up three points. Obviously a tight turnaround. Have we got enough time to do any analysis on QPR after their draw today? Yeah, hopefully. We'll get this video uploaded tonight, sent across tomorrow, so hopefully we'll have a quick turnaround on that. Um, and then, we'll, like we say, we're evaluating where we need to go from there for Tuesday and then bring on Wednesday with QPR. Andy May, thank you. No worries.